Dude, I haven't seen you guys in forever. Are you ghosting me? Maddie, what's up? Of course we're not ghosting you, man. We've just been busy. How are you? You're sure you and the guys aren't avoiding me? Nah, man. What makes you think that? Because I saw Benny's Instagram photos from your hiking trip. I thought I was going to go too. Next time, okay? And you were kind of there in spirit, you know? Why? Because we used your family's park pass, remember? Thanks again for that. You would have had fun. Trevor, that's not cool. I thought we were friends. We are. You're one of us for sure. Then why wasn't I invited? My bad, but we'll make it up to you, I promise. Are you free this weekend? Yes. Really? You don't have debate club? I do, but friends are more important. What are the plans? Oh, so you'll skip your debate stuff? Yeah, totally. So what's the plan? Okay, sure. We're heading toward the lake on Saturday. No fishing or anything, just hanging out and having a barbecue or something. Great, I'm in. Tell me the time. Will do. I'll let you know by Friday. Hey man, I still haven't heard from you. What time are we meeting tomorrow? Oh, sorry. I totally forgot to tell you. We're not doing that anymore. What? Yeah, Scotty M is a little sick. Rain check, okay? But I already told my debate coach that I couldn't go this weekend. Then call him back and say you can. No problem. They already left on the bus. It's too late. Well, dang. Oops. I kind of feel like this is my fault. It is. Trevor, seriously, just be honest. Do you want me to be a part of the group? Yeah, totally. You're like the glue that holds us together, man. Good. And I promise to be better about keeping you posted, okay? Okay. But hey, look on the bright side. At least you don't have to go to another nerdy debate tournament. I love debate. Okay, see you later. What are you doing? Nothing. Why? Do you want to come over today? Since the trip is off, maybe you and the others can hang at my house. We can play video games or use my pool. What do you think? I'd love to. Really? Uh, let me finish. I'd love to, but I'm busy. Homework and stuff, you understand. Oh, okay. But have fun! <laughs> what the hell, Trevor? I know you're at the lake right now. Whoa, man, calm down. What makes you think that? Scotty D is live streaming right now. I can see you. Oh, crap. Maybe that was from last month. Live stream, Trevor. Come on, I'm not an idiot. And I can see you in the background texting me right now. Okay, you got me. Don't get mad, though. It's just a joke. I'm so mad right now. Why would you make me think I'm your friend? Obviously, you guys don't want anything to do with me. No, that's not true at all, man. We really like you. Then why did you lie to me? Because I had to, okay? Look, can I be honest with you right now? Yes, that'll be a change. Okay, here's the deal. We all like you a bunch. You're smart and funny. Personally, I love spending time with you. Some of my favorite memories this year are swimming in your pool and riding around on your dad's dirt bikes. But one guy in our group has a problem with you, so I was forced to uninvite you. Really? Who? I'm not allowed to say. Is it one of the Scotties? I can't say, but this guy's the only reason you couldn't join us today. And you won't tell me who it is? No. <laughs> Snitches get stitches, right? But trust me, okay? I already had a talk with him, and he said he's only mad at you because you're so smart and funny and rich. He's intimidated by you, man. Really? Totally, but I convinced him that he shouldn't be, because you're just like us. You're one of the guys. So he agreed to give you another chance. I don't know. You've already screwed me over a bunch of times. I don't think I should be your friend anymore. Don't be like that, please. You could totally hang out with your boring debate friends, but don't you want to be one of us? One of the cool guys? Yeah. Exactly, because you're cool. You're awesome, and I promise that you won't be excluded anymore. Yeah, sure. Do you trust me? I don't know. I really need you to trust me, man. You're my friend. Okay, I trust you. Cool. See you at school. Maddie! Yo, man, want to go to dinner tonight? Of course. I was planning to have a movie night with the guys from debate, but I'm sure they can reschedule. So what's the plan? Well, we're all going to meet at Antonucci's. You know that place? 
yes, it's really expensive. I know, I've always wanted to go. We might even see famous people there. Yeah, maybe. It'll be awesome, and I couldn't imagine going without you. Thanks. I was worried you'd changed your mind about including me and in stuff. Never. So, you'll come? Seven o'clock? Totally. And can you bring your dad's credit card again? Oh, I can. Perfect! You're a lifesaver. We'll split the bill, right? What do you mean? I mean, you don't expect me to pay for everyone, right? Well, yeah. You're the only one who can afford it. No pressure, of course, but if you don't come, then I don't think any of us will be able to go. You don't want us to have to cancel the reservations, do you? No. So you'll come? With your card? Yeah. Hi, Dad. I was wondering if I could borrow the credit card again. You know it's your money to spend. Great, thanks. What are you going to buy? I was planning to go to dinner at Antonucci's, and it'll be too expensive for me to pay in cash. Absolutely. Are you going on a date? No, uh, sorry. I'm taking the guys. You mean Trevor and his crew? Yeah. Oh, are, are you sure that's a good idea? Of course, it'll be fun. I'm sure it will be, and I trust your judgment. But I've noticed that they've stopped hanging out with you lately. They've been busy. Okay. What are you getting at, Dad? It's nothing. Okay, it's not nothing. I just worry that they only invite you to go to places if you're the one who pays. I don't want you to be taken advantage of. They're my friends, Dad. They wouldn't take advantage of me. I talked to them about this and they're totally cool. Whenever we're together, they're always so nice. I really think they like me. And if that means I have to pay a bit more, then I'm okay with that. It's your decision, Matt. The card is in my study, so you can pick it up when you get back home. Great, thanks. Hey, man, we miss you. What's up? So, we had so much fun in Ananucci's, right? So much fun. Yeah, I guess we did. So, the guys and I were wondering if you were free on the weekend of November 12th through 14th? Yes, what's the plan? We have this awesome idea. Remember that cabin on Channing Mountain that your dad rented last summer? Yeah. We want to go there again. What do you think? Yeah, that sounds fun. Cool! I'm so glad you're in. Always, I love spending time with the guys. And we love having you there. So, how much do we each need to chip in? Actually, I was hoping you could use your dad's card again. Oh, I sort of figured you'd say that. Good, so you understand. I don't know, last time it was almost $1,000 for the weekend. Yeah, but that was in the summer. It'll be cheaper now. So, maybe we should just split the cost then. Okay, if you don't want to go, you should have just said something. No, I do. Then why can't we use your dad's card? We know he has the money. I really don't want to ask him again. But you told us that he lets you use his card anytime. Didn't you say that? I did. Come on, Maddie, it's all good. Don't you want to be part of the group? Yeah. Great. So come over tonight and we can book it. And hang out. You could hang out with us tonight, don't you want to? Okay, let's do it. You're the best, man. I don't know what we'd do without you. Dad, hi. Uh, please don't be angry. What's wrong? I need to use the card again. You have it. I, I know, but I need to tell you because I'm going to spend a lot of money. How much? Twelve hundred? Dollars? Yeah. The guys and I are renting that cabin that we went to last summer. But that's more expensive than last time. I know, I guess early winter is peak season. But it'll be three days and we'll have a great time. Is this what you want? Yeah, it's not just what your friends want. No, I want it too. Son, I already told you that you can use the card however you want. I won't stop you. You're disappointed, aren't you? Yes. You think they're using me again? Son, I trust your judgment. I just want you to have respect for yourself. Son, I've got some bad news. What? Is Nana okay? Yes, she's fine. This is about your friends. Oh god, what happened? I just got a notification in my email about your cabin reservation. Oh, did they cancel the trip without telling me? No, they changed the booking for this weekend. I'm worried that they're tricking you. Yeah, it seems like it. Son, did you let them keep the credit card? No, of course not. 
but we booked everything on Scotty M's computer. I guess he logged back in and made the change after I left. Matt, these boys are not your friends. I know. Dad, I'm so sorry. You must think I'm a complete loser. No! You're still growing up, and sometimes growing up means you have to learn some hard lessons. Do you want me to cancel the payment? No, let me talk to them first. Maybe it was all a big mix-up. Do you really think so? No, I've been ignoring the signs for too long. You were right. Okay, well, let me know what they say. I will. And actually, if it's okay with you, I don't think I want to cancel the booking. I know it's a lot of money, but maybe this is my chance to finally teach them a lesson. What do you mean? I'll explain at dinner. I'll message Trevor now and give him one last chance, but if that doesn't work out, I have a plan. Wow. Okay. I'm not worried about the money. You do what you have to do. Thanks, Dad. Hey, Trevor, quick question. Shoot! We're still on for the 12th, right? Our mountain trip? Yeah, totally. No changes, right? No. Okay, so we're all going together up to the cabin on November 12th? Yes, okay. Dude, what's your problem? Nothing. I understand. Good. See you later. What about this weekend? Any plans? Not really. I have to do chores and stuff. I see. Hey, man, the guys and I need your help. It's kind of a funny story, actually. You're gonna laugh. Oh, I like to laugh. What happened? So, there was a bit of a mix-up with the cabin. We heard that this weekend would have a lot more snowfall, so we decided to change the date. But don't you think it's a little late to do that? It's already Friday night. Yeah, I, I told you, it's a funny story, right? Well, we kind of already changed the booking. Without telling me? Yeah, it, it was just this spur of the moment thing. And we figured you wouldn't want to come because you had your heart set on the 12th. So you changed the booking that I paid for and then didn't invite me? Oh, we were going to make it up to you when we got back, for sure. You get it, right? You understand. Yeah, totally. That sounds exactly like something you would do. Don't be mad, okay? Like I said, it was just a spur of the moment kind of thing. Why are you telling me now? Well, we just got here and the electricity is shut off. That means no light and no heater. And we don't have any wood for the fireplace, so it's like really dark and cold. How could you even get inside the cabin? When Scotty F changed the booking, he got check-in directions. We're all ready for a big weekend, but we kinda need you to call the owner or landlord or whatever and ask them to fix the electricity. Maddie, again, so sorry for not including you. Let me get this straight. Your plan was to get me to pay for the cabin and then change the date so I didn't go. Nah, man, it wasn't like that at all. We totally would have included you, but it was such a last minute change. I feel terrible about it, but please help your friends out. Wow. You don't want to ruin the weekend for us, do you? No, I'd never. I just wish you had told me about the change. The rental guy emailed my dad about utilities and my dad told him to shut everything off because he thought no one would be there this weekend. He also declined the passes to the ski lift. What? We can't even ski now? If you would just talk to me, none of this would have happened. Oh. But don't worry, I'll call the owner right away and have him switch everything back on. I'm sure it won't be a problem. Really? Of course, I'd do anything for you guys. I know you mean to include me, it was just a little oversight. Don't worry, just hang out in the dark for a bit and we should have everything back on within the hour. I promise. Thank you. Don't go anywhere, I got your back. Maddie, the electricity still isn't on. Oh no. You said it would be fixed. It will be, I promise. The landlord said he'd have it done within the next hour. Can't he do it faster? We're freezing in here. And it looks like the snow is getting worse. I know. I saw the reports. It's snowing hard. But don't worry. Just be patient and I'll have everything fixed, okay? Really? Yeah, totally. You trust me, right? Just get it done, man! Maddie, please? I told you. I already talked with the landlord. Be patient. One more hour. Please, man! We can't wait any longer. This is hell! Wow, that sucks. If you don't get the electricity back on, we'll just leave, and then our whole weekend will be ruined. And maybe you won't be one of us after all. Maybe you really don't have what it takes to be one of the cool guys. Have you been watching the news? No, why? 
Because it looks like you're snowed in. They closed the roads about 20 minutes ago. You could have gotten out of there if you didn't wait so long for me to help you. I guess you're stuck up there for the weekend. What? No! We have no light and no heat! I know. And the news says they won't clear the road until Monday at the earliest. I'm so glad you excluded me from the trip. Oh, and Trevor, I completely forgot to tell you something. I never called the landlord. Oops. You monster, why? Why would you do this to your friends? Be honest with me right now. Was I ever your friend? Yes, you're our friend. Now get the damn electricity back on. No, sorry. I won't help you if you keep lying to me. Lying? What do you want me to say? The truth, Trevor. Was I ever your friend? No! Okay? You were never one of us. And you were just using me for my dad's money? Trevor? Yes. You happy? Actually, yeah. I finally am. <laughs> the snowstorm ended up being even worse than the news predicted. They couldn't clear out the roads until Tuesday night, leaving my friends trapped there with no heat, no light, and barely any food. Meanwhile, I spent the weekend hanging out with my real friends from the debate club. It wasn't anything special, just some pizza and video games, but it was definitely better than freezing our asses off with nothing to do. Eventually, the guys came back to school on Wednesday. By then, everyone at school had heard about my little revenge plan. A couple of the Scotties cornered me in the hallway to start something, but literally everyone around us came to my defense. I guess they really weren't as popular as I thought they were. In fact, I'm kind of the king of the school now. People are calling me an evil mastermind, and I kind of like the new nickname. Trevor, however, didn't come back to school for the rest of the week. He'd gotten frostbite on one of his fingers during the weekend and had to go to the hospital. I considered paying him a visit, but I decided against it. I've lost him as a friend, and he lost his pinky. 